Hello everyone. Today I'm going to present using Ixias Breaking Point Virtual Edition for application and security testing on the public cloud. As the world embracing the virtualization, uh, more and more enterprise vendors and carriers, or even individuals, are embracing the public cloud. Uh, AWS, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud, Ali Cloud, and, and so on and so forth. When people move their workload to the public cloud, there are, there's a lot of anxieties uh, with regarding how the load is being handled, how the security is being handled, uh, whether it can uh, meet the customer's uh, user experience. Uh, so there's a lot of anxiety. The really way to mitigate those anxiety uh, to make people comfortable of moving their workload to the public cloud is testing. Um, today's demo is about using Breaking Point Virtual Edition deployed on the AWS, as you can see in this picture below, uh, to generate traffic acting as a real web client, user client, going through the internet towards the uh, web server farm constructed with auto scaling which can adjust the load and also provide a high availability. And behind the web server farm, there's a Elastic file system in supporting for the web. To front end the web server farm, for its high availability and also security, we have Elastic Load Balancer, and we also deploy the web application firewall. So let's take a look of the live demo. Now let's take a look at uh, my AWS setup. Um, typically on AWS, I prefer using CloudFormation. Uh, in this case, I'm using two stacks. One is a BPS web client. I basically spin up my uh, auto deploy my uh, breaking point virtual instances. And the other one is a web server farm. Uh, basically auto deploy my uh, web server farm with auto scaling group and, and elastic uh, load balancers and the WAF uh, together with the EFS. If I go to the uh, EC2 and you can see that uh, I have uh, three running config, uh, three running uh, instances. Uh, one is the breaking point uh, virtual controller. The other one is uh, breaking point virtual blade. And then uh, the most important one, uh, which is our device under testing is this auto scaling group uh, for the web web server farm. So let's first find out, okay, so this is the web server farms, um, public DNS. Let's go to the web server farm. So I'm using a, a normal Chrome browser um, from my laptop, uh, just as in a real client, uh, go to the, uh, the web server farm I set up on the AWS. You can see that uh, this is a, apparently Apache uh, server. Um, I have a bunch of image files um, set it up on the server. So if I go to one Mac bnb.jpg, and you can see, yeah, so this is the uh, airplane in the air. Um, again, all my web servers is uh, TLS or HTTPS only uh, for security reasons, for sure. Now, uh, let's go back. And what we're going to do here is leveraging this breaking point to emulate the real web uh, client to uh, put the load onto the, uh, onto the web server farm. So this is my breaking points uh, uh, web UI IPs. So if I copy here, So now I'm uh, connecting to the breaking point and uh, I do have a test uh, created already loaded and this has got the sample HTTPS one arm AWS and you can see I have the HP client set up. I'm doing 10 download uh, per second. Uh, so let's get it running. Now the test is running. As you can see, uh, we have about uh, 10 HPS download uh, per second. Uh, we're about to uh, maintain that rate. And as you can see, the my RX rate here, it's about uh, anywhere from 80 to about 100 meg, uh, megabit per second because it makes sense because I have a uh, one, mega, uh, one megabyte uh, 
uh, image download uh, in that sense. So everything looks good. Uh, if I stop the test and check the report, And you can see that uh, uh, with this uh, regex match, uh, I can confidently say that uh, all the transactions have been uh, completed successfully. Now, for load testing, you can easily increase. In this case, I will increase the load to uh, 100 uh, downloads per second. Uh, let's take a look at uh, how the system works. And now my attempt rate is about 100 uh, uh, downloads per second. Uh, as you can see that uh, the system is, uh, the, uh, the, the web server is certainly trying to uh, keep up, um, but it's not up to the par. It's close, but it's not up to the par. And uh, in this case, um, normally the auto scaling group will kick in. Uh, there's a warm-up period, and they will add another, um, automatically deploy another uh, workload uh, to basically increase or improve the, uh, uh, the way it can handle the uh, web client uh, web transactions. Um, that's it for this demo. Thank you very much. See you next time.